Apple one to one. This is Will, and I wanted to do a quick video on the weather app that's inside of your Mac, which also will connect directly to your iPhone or iPad or other devices. So I wanted to go over a couple of quick little tutorials and tips and tricks on how to use this app. So first off, right now it's showing my current location, which is currently in Princeton. It tells me the temperature levels as well as the high and low for the day. You do need to have location services turned on for this to work. So please make sure that if you want to know where you are exactly and you want to get the information you need where you are, you need to have that turned on. On the left column, you will see that I have the different areas and different things I want to look at. So I have Athens, Greece here because I went to Athens uh, a few years ago and I'm always just curious to see what the weather's like around this time frame. Uh, Daytona Beach, uh, I have family down there, uh, Philadelphia, a whole bunch of different uh, areas that I have here. I actually have Princeton as its own section. How you do that is on the search on the top right, all you have to do is search what you're looking for. So we're going to put down uh, San Francisco, and as I'm typing it out, as you can see, it's filling out options as I do it. So I'm going to do San Francisco, and it now adds, here's San Francisco directly on the screen. But as you notice, it has not added it to the left side, so what I have to do is hit the Add button, and now it adds San Francisco here as a permanent option. I can also move this up and down a list. So if I want it to be in a certain area, in a certain order, and again, this will reflect on the side, on the app side of my iPhone. But if I don't want it, I could just hit the right click and then hit delete. And then it'll tell me it will no longer appear on the list and it goes away. Now, if I go back to my current location, you can actually open up all these different fields. So if you click, you will see it'll show you the conditions. So we have the conditions throughout the day, the precipitation chances, and you can scroll down. You can see more information here about the rain, about the forecast, uh, comparing it to yesterday. So they have a lot of good details here that you can look at. And that goes for each one of them, air quality, which also connects to Apple News. So you can actually see some news articles that may have pertaining to air quality or wind, uh, stuff like that. You can also go and see a comparison, again, from yesterday to today. Uh, so lots of great details. This is coming, I believe, directly from uh, Yahoo, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that, but don't quote me on it. But that's pretty much how the weather app works, is really just going through, clicking on areas. It also educates you a little bit about pressure, how that works, uh, visibility. Uh, so each area has got like some information about it that also could educate you at the same time. If you click on the map, you can actually see a movement map here. So now what it's doing is showing me a 12-hour forecast, and I can zoom in just by pinching and going in. And you can see that this is where I live, and they're going to be showing the different weather that's going on for the day. So you can see a 12-hour forecast. You can see the next hour forecast in there, so you can switch between them. You also have layers up here. So there are different maps you could choose from. So right now we're showing precipitation. You can see temperature. You can switch to air quality. And then you can switch to wind. This is actually a new one that they're introducing. So you can see wind patterns and things like that. Very cool. I can minus back out so I can see a bigger scope of the wind patterns. So very, very cool. You know, people who like details like that. I uh, would really like that that information. So I'm going to go back to the one that everyone likes to look at. And then it shows you on the map like what colors are severe or not severe. So this is a great way to look at the weather forecast. I think this is a really, really powerful tool. I think it gives you everything you absolutely need to know about. And, of course, everyone likes the daily forecast. Are all right here each day. If you open it, you can see different information about those forecasts that are occurring so yeah so this is a breakdown of the weather app also if you go to weather and settings you can go in here and turn on notifications so right now current location next hour uh next hour is turned on but i can also turn on severe weather so if i'm going to have some severe weather it can notify me about rain snow and certain elevation so there's a few information here as well as you can turn on for each individual item so if you want to know this if there's going to be severe weather in Daytona Beach you can to find that out just by turning it on and then you can decide if you want to do Celsius Fahrenheit or whatever the system setting you set up same thing for wind and everything so if you want to know inches you want to know millimeters they have very very detailed orientation on the settings and that's basically it. Uh, the animation appears in the background. Also, uh, one thing to of note, if you look on my desktop, I have right here the weather app right here as pinpointed as a widget. If you click to the top right and go, well, I have what's new, so I can have all the widgets here. But if you've opened the widget, 
you can type in the word weather and then you can add the weather forecast directly here. So if I want to drag it here, I can, and then it'll stay there permanently. So that way I always have the weather in front of me and that's a great little tool. So again, you can click up here in the corner, you can go to edit widgets, and then you can go to the weather and then choose the, the form factor you want to use. And of course, if you don't want to keep it, you can go back to the widget editor. If you don't want to keep the widget, you can go to edit widgets and then I can just minus it out. So that's pretty much the weather app. Not too much details you need to know about that, uh, but I thought it'd be a great way to learn a little bit about the weather app. And I hope you guys got something out of it. And I love every single one of you. Leave a comment or like.